Hello, this is Heath Johnson with NCSI. I want to show you how to publish request offerings beyond org unit and location. Let me show you what I mean. So if you open up the request offering workspace, which I already have open here, and I'm just going to open up the this account unlock out of the box request offering and clicking on the publish action access tab I'm going to turn the out of the box configurations for org unit and location from this into something like this. Let's start by opening up the configuration console, expanding self service, click on configure access. Click on the edit access object. And then the first thing we're going to do is create a relationship. And I'm just going to start with department and we'll add on a couple more after that. Click on the relationship tab. Click on add new. And then find in this list, we'll look for department. Select that. And I'm just going to keep this designer name here um, and then also the display name as is and then I'm just going to copy those into the internal reference name now the next part what I need to do is click on this zero or many and make sure the zero or many is selected on the left side or the right side as well and what this will allow you to do is be able to select multiple departments and I'll show you um, show it later on where that's done. Uh, this is all we need to do uh, as far as configuration. So click on add this relationship and then save. Once that's done, let's go back to the configure access tab and then click on add filtering property. And then here in the title, type in department. The relationship will be the one that was just created. Now on the validation list, um, there's several here you can pick from. I'm just going to go with one that's the common one that's more, uh, mostly used, which is the last one. And then on the next one for the employee relationship, I'm going to select department associated profile employee. Now all these are already created out of the box except for the relationship, the validation list and employee relationship should already be there out of the box. And then on here, you can do a checkbox that will allow you to do multiple selection. And doing that relationship from zero to many or zero to many enables this checkbox. So once that's done, we click on OK. And now you have your department list here. So let's save this. And if you don't have an access rule defined this window, this little message will pop up. And what that means is we need to add an access item and it'll just default to any to any. And then you can come in and submit your permissions here for the different objects. So let's save and then go back to the front end or the application side and we'll refresh our browser tab. and open up that same request offering, or it could be any request offering. It's gonna to apply to all of them. Click on publish action, and then now you'll see that there's a department, and then you can come in and select any department as the default, or select one, or go back in and select multiple. This one was just department. Um, I'm gonna show you how to add a few more. And then we can, I'm just cancel that go back into the configuration console there's a lot of it's pretty common department is one of the common ones to add as well as like teams and contact group so let's do a few more of those and we'll just follow the same process as before click on and we'll go back into now if i didn't have this tab open i would just click on the edit access object button but i've already got this open and we'll just create a new relationship and go down to 
I'll look for team, but in here it's named standard. Standard user team. Um, and this one, if you want to shorten this, sometimes I like to do that. Just shorten these to a little bit easier to read. Take out all the extra fluff, and then we'll just copy and paste that same name across. Select zero or many, to zero or many, and go down and click on add relationship. Save. And then we'll do another one for contact group. And once you get the uh, gist of this, it's pretty easy. Just kind of a wash, rinse, repeat scenario with all these relationships. And then we'll save that. And then another one that's kind of popular, or at least commonly requested, is for roll. And this one is FRS underscore def underscore roll. And I'm just going to replace a lot of that letters and text with just roll. Just do copy paste, zero to many. Zero to many on the, both sides, and then click on add, add this relationship. So I've added a few more items that we can publish to. We'll go back to the configure access and we'll just add those add those in. Um, if, so if you remember, we'll click on add filtering property. We'll name this one team. Relationship is the one we created. Validation list. There's quite a few here, and I think I'm normally I select this one, and then you have your employee relationship, and this is the one that's commonly used, and then you can click on allow multiple selection if you want. Click on OK. We'll add another one for contact group. Select the relationship. Now, in this one, there isn't a validation list, so we're going to have to go create one. Also, we'll just have to double check the rich relationship. I believe it's the second one. So we're going to have to stop here and go and click a validation list for contact group. So in order to do that, we'll click on open up a tab for pick lists. Click on Add New. And we're, I'm just going to create a, just a simple pick list for this one. We'll find the contact group business object and then select name for all these. And then I want to make sure I'm only looking at the active contact groups. We're going to add a constraint and look for status and we'll make sure it's equal to active so if i click on preview then here's my contact groups that are all active and save it and i believe we can come back into configure access look at the relationship and then there's the, the new validation list i just created And then we'll click on or enter contact group in the title. All right, so we've added team or department team and contact group. We also added a relationship for role, so I'm going to add that one. And you can use existing role list or create a new one. I'm just going to use this, whatever's uh, showing out of the box. And I'm going to check this, allow multiple selection, and I'll explain why in just a little bit. Uh, so now we have all of our extra columns here. So we can save this and now come back into the application side and refresh.
open up a request offering and then open up the uh, publish the publish tab and then as you can see we've got our newly added columns here for the different groups or types of groups you want to publish request offerings to so if you add a role just just to let you know if you add the role column what you want to do is make sure you add admin and service owner as your defaults on every every single request offering because what will happen is if you publish this so if I don't have these checked and then you publish to a specific team or department and you as the administrator or myself that if I'm not part of the, that team or that department then what will happen is this request offering will disappear off this list that I have that I have access to so what I want to make sure that I do is if I do add the role column I want to make sure that I publish it to admin and service owner because uh, those, those are the two roles that out of the box have request offering as part of their workspaces available to that role and then you can continue to add on other roles or not roles but other uh, lines and let's say I want to publish this to the accounting team or the department or I want to publish it to the the IT team so how this works is you have these items work as and so it's any org unit and location and department and team so all these are and and now if I do another role or another line it's going to be or between the between the lines it's going to be or so basically I'm going to publish this to the admin and service owner role or the accounting department or the IT team so now I can come in and save or save and exit That's how you uh, publish request offerings beyond org unit and the location. And that gives you a lot more flexibility on who gets to see what in the service catalog and self service. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Until next time.